Now look at the next part of electrochemistry. Electro chemistry. So eighth question is increase in equivalent conductance of a strong electrolyte with dilution is mainly due to. So here talking about increase in equivalent equi valent conductance of strong electrolyte strong electrolyte with dilution with dilution asked in 2010 so what will be the answer for that So, for dilution, it is so molar conductivity formula we know, right? That is 1000 K by C, or it can be written as so on dilution, number of current passing through particles per unit centimeter cube decreases, right. On dilution, so after dilution, concentration is decreases. So molar conductivity increases because they are inversely proportional. Molar conductivity is inversely proportional to concentration. So after, after dilution, molar conductivity increases. Understood? So ionic mobility, which turns increases the equivalent conducti conductivity of a strong electrolyte. Strong electrolyte. So remember this formula. So on dilution, concentration decreases, dilution. So molar conductivity increases. This is your molar conductivity increases. Now look at the ninth sum. Uh, equivalent conductance of equivalent conductance of M by 32 conductance. Conductance is also represented by G or sometimes B of solution of weak mono basic acid. Of weak mono basic acid is so G is given that is 8 moho centimeter square at infinite dilution so at infinite dilution g becomes 400 m ho centimeter square so dissociation constant you have to find for the acid so it is asked in 2009 so as we know alpha value we know right molar conductivity at c Divided by molar conductivity at infinity. So C concentration we know 8 at infinity that is 400. So it will be 2 into 10 h to minus 2 alpha. So this is the alpha degree of dissociation. So it, K value we know that is C alpha square upon 1 minus alpha. So it can be written as equal to C alpha square only. C value we know right that is M upon 32. So it will be. 1 upon 32. Alpha, it will be 2 into 10 to minus 2 whole square. So it will be equal to 4 into 10 to minus 4 divided by 32. So it will be equal to 1.25 10 to minus 5. So this is the answer of dissociation constant. Next question is Carlos law. Definition. So I will write the full name of that scientist. Carlos. Carlos law statement. So remember the direct statement. So option will be D. It states that. It states that equivalent. Equivalent conductance 
of an electrolyte at infinite solution is equal to is equal to sum of equivalent conductance of component ion of component ions so it will be delta of infinity equal to delta of cation plus delta of anion so this is the formula for that a4 anion and c4 cation this is the carlos law statement so remember this one asked in 2008 Now look at the twelve sum asked in two thousand nineteen ninety nine. A specific conductance of zero point one normality KCl solution at twenty three degree Celsius is conductance is given molar conductivity of NaCl that is zero point zero one two ohm inverse. सेंटीमीटर इनवर्स द रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ सेल रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ सेल ऑफ द सोल्यूशन एट द सेम टेम्परेचर इज गिवन दैट इज फिफ्टी फाइव ओम द सेल कॉन्स्टेंट यू हैव टू फाइंड सेल कॉन्स्टेंट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाई बी सेल कॉन्स्टेंट इट इज गिवन बाई लेंथ अपॉन एरिया आस्ट इन वन नाइन 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 Last so how will you solve? Formula oh, is K equal to one upon R into L upon A. So K is conductivity. So K is conductivity. L is your length, and A is your cross sectional area. Cross sectional area, and R is nothing but it is. Resistance, right? This can be reduced to be equal to uh, L upon A can be written as B upon R. So B is equal to K into R. So this is the also formula. Please remember this formula. Now put the value now. So you have to find length upon area, cell constant value, right? So B is equal to K into R. So K value we know that is conductivity. This is your K conductivity is given. Conductivity. So it is represented by co K, not inverted V. So that is equal to zero point zero one two into R. We know that is fifty five. So calculate it. It is zero point six six centimeter inverse B value. So cell constant value is zero point six six centimeter inverse. Now we will solve the numerical of electrochemistry based on electrolytic cells. Understood? So first question is asked in two thousand twenty. The number of Faraday, Faraday, F means Faraday constant, Faraday constant required to produce twenty gram of calcium from molten calcium chloride (CaCl two). Atomic mass of calcium is given that is forty, twenty forty. So you have to just calculate it. Hold for a second, ah. Huh? So F is Faraday constant. So mass of calcium is given. That is twenty gram. We are taking of calcium. So you have to just calculate the F value. So I will give you the formula for it. So it is called Faraday constant. So first formula will be number of equivalent. So it will be equal to 
given mass upon equivalent mass equivalent mass so it is given mass is 20 so this is your mass given 20 equivalent mass is 10 right so it will be equal to 2 why 10 comes because calcium lose two electrons to form the ca2 plus and two electrons will be coming out so 10 20 upon 2 that will be 10 so see here in the second step ca2 plus will gain the two electron and to form the calcium so here factor will be 2 because it is gaining two electrons so according to faraday law so according to faraday Faraday law. So charge pass Q equal to uh, gram equivalent into factor. So gram equivalent we value we know that 2 and factor is how much? Here, here. Uh, I have done one mistake. Please mind it. So equivalent mass is atomic mass for calcium is 40. So right here 20. So that will be how much? Mm. No, equivalent mass is 2, two now. So that will be 2. Huh? That is correct. Huh? So it will be 2 into valency factor is how much? Factor is how much? Equivalent factor. Something mistake is there. So it is 2. Valencing factor is 2. And it will be 2 upon 40. I am going to say good. So it will be cancelled. It will be 1 upon 2. So right here 1 upon 2. Then it will be 1. So 1 Faraday charge is required to produce the 20 gram of calcium. So please correct here 20 upon 40 it will be. Because mass of calcium is 40 now. Because atomic number is 20 atomic mass. So upper part is atomic mass. And lower is atomic number atomic number. So formula is given mass. Mass is 20 given and equivalent mass we know that is 40. So 20 upon 40 will be 1 upon 2. So write it down. Now look at the second sum. During electrolysis of molten NaCl. NaCl ka kya karna hai? Electricity pass karke Na plus or Cl minus mein dissociate karna hai. So after passing the NaCl through electrolysis process, then it will be converted into Na plus and Cl minus. Time required to produce. So we have to find the time, right? When it is passing 0 0.1 mole of chlorine gas through a current of I equal to 3 ampere. So asked in need 2016. It is asked in 2016. So I will write the electrolysis process for molten NaCl. So electrolysis of molten NaCl, sodium chloride. So it will be 2 Na plus plus 2 minus produce 2 Na. So it will be at cathode. So cathode is negative, it will attract the positive part. Now at anode, it is 2 Cl minus produce Cl2 plus 2E minus. Now add these two, so this electron will be get cancelled. So this is your reduction gain of electron. This is your loss of electron that is oxidation. So after addition you will get 2 Na plus 2 Cl minus produce. 2 Na plus Cl2. So as we know the Faraday first law, W equal to ZIT. So W is equivalent weight accumulated on it. That is Z is chemical equivalent. And next is it is modified as E upon 96,500 into I into T. I is current T is time. E is equivalent divided by F. This is Faraday constant value that is 96,500 Coulomb. 
now put the value so it will be equal to how much 0 0.10 into 71 is equal to 35.54 chlorine it is 3 into t divided by 96500 so you can get the value here z value we know w value right that is 0 0.1 mole this is right and and for chlorine one chlorine weight is 35.5 so 4 cl2 multiply with 2 into 35.5 so it will be equal to 71 so moles formula we know that is mass upon molar mass so for getting the mass we have to multiply moles into molar mass so moles value is 0 0.1 so this is your n this is your molar mass of chlorine so we have got the mass value so this is mass mass is equal to w is equal to equivalent is 35.5 into 3 so 3 is the factor right and 3 we know right how many currents ampere is passed 3 ampere so in the formula this is your formula w equal to z i t it is also written as e upon 96500 and i is current t is time so i is nothing but current so value of 3 is current so we have to find the value of t t is nothing but time so now cross multiply you will get t equal to 0 0.1 into 71 into 96500 divided by 35.5 into 3. Calculate it, you will get the value T value. That is equal to 107.22 minute. Approximately equal to 110 minutes. Write it down. Solve the third one. Number of electrons delivered at the cathode during electrolysis of current of 1 ampere. So current value is given 1 ampere for the time being 60 second. So what is the charge? We have to find the number of electrons. So how many electrons are coming out? So we know the formula Q equal to I into T. I is nothing but charge. Q is charge. I is current. And T is your time. Right. So now put the value. So Q equal to. Then you will get charge value. Ampere. Current value we know. That is 1 ampere. And for time it is given 60 second. So its value will be. 60 coulomb. Right. So as we know. E value that is 1.6 10 to minus 19 coulomb. One E value is known. So we know the formula Q equal to NE. So we have to find the number of electrons. So N gives number of electron present in that charge. So N will be equal to Q upon E. So Q value we know that is 60 coulomb. E value we know that is 1.6 10 to minus 19 coulomb. So this is the constant value for electrons. So please remember it or it will be given in your question. So this will be equal to 3.75 into 10 raise to 20. So this much of electron is passing through that wire. So remember the point, this formula and this formula. Two formula is very important for solving it. This is asked in 2016. Now look at the fourth one asked in 2014 AI PMT. When one mole of when one 0.1 mole of MnO42 minus is oxidized is oxidized the quantity of electricity required to complete oxidized will be so it is converting into MnO4 minus from MnO4 to minus. So fourth question is. So for writing this equation I will write separately. 
so it is MnO4 2 minus. So it is gaining one electron to form MnO4 minus. Right. So you can find the oxidation state here for manganese. I will show how to find. It is manganese plus 4 oxygen is equal to minus 2. So we know for oxidation state oxygen is minus 2 is equal to minus 2. 2. So Mn is equal to 8 minus 2. So it is equal to plus 6. So here magnesium is in oxidation state plus 6. And now similarly find mag magnesium oxidation state in MnO4 minus. So it will be 4O equal to minus 1. This charge we are writing here and oxidation state oxygen is minus 2. And for hydrogen it is plus 1 universally known. Right. Uh, so it is Mn plus 4 into minus 2 equal to minus 1. So it will be Mn equal to 4 into 2 minus 1. It will be equal to 7. So it is changing from plus 6 to plus 7. So there is change in 1. Right. So for 1 mole. For 1 mole, 1F equal to 96,500 coulomb. And for 0 0.1 it is equal to 9, 0 0.1 into 96,000 500. So remove these points, you will get 10 in diameter. So answer will be 96, 9650. So this much of coulomb is required to produce 0 0.1 mole because we have to find for 0 0.1 mole now. That's why we have multiplied 0 0.1 with the constant value. 